Shelby Mack. Temperatures yesterday made it into the mid 90s, but we are seeing a cool front that is coming through today. That is going to be knocking our temperatures down about two to five degrees difference from what we saw yesterday. Now, usually with a cool front, we do see some rain, but that rain is staying over to the east of us, and we did see a few stray showers sticking around this morning. But those are already moving out of the South Plains, and for the rest of the day, we are going to be staying dry, and the chances of staying dry for the next seven days are pretty high as well. Temperatures right now are in the upper 60s into the lower 70s. A mild start to our Wednesday, and we are going to start to see heat building in, but a lot more slowly than yesterday. By lunchtime, already going to start to see the upper 70s, lower 80s, about 5 degrees cooler than where we were at yesterday at 1230. And we are going to be seeing a northeasterly breeze moving at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, making it feel even cooler outside and kind of counterbalancing that West Texas sun we all know and love. Then by 5 o'clock, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s, starting to see the lower 90s coming into the forecast as well. And then later tonight, seeing mostly clear skies with just a few clouds as temperatures drop drop back down into the mid to upper 70s. Now I know the 90s don't necessarily sound cool and we are still just a little bit above average. However, we are going to be one of the cooler spots as far as Texas goes because most places in Texas are going to be in the mid 90s and we are going to be in the lower 90s, but most of the country is staying above average as well. So we're not alone in this one. Now taking a look at the tropics, we are two days away from the peak of hurricane season, which is on September 10th, and there are three developments that are currently looking out for. Now right now, Hurricane Larry has sustained winds moving 115 miles per hour. This is a Category 3 storm, and it isn't likely to make landfall in the U.S. It is going to continue to sustain that strength, though, and by Friday afternoon, still having sustained winds moving 90 miles per hour, but again, not likely to make landfall. Landfall. The next thing we are watching is a system in the Gulf of Mexico that has a 50% chance of cyclone formation in the next 48 hours, and this system is likely to have two end results. It could either pass over Florida and gain some strength in the Atlantic, or it could quickly speed up now and become a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico with that warm water. We're also looking at Tropical Depression 15E. This system is likely to become a tropical storm this afternoon and is already having tropical storm warnings off the coast of Baja California Sur. Here locally, though, going to continue to see that sunshine throughout our afternoon today and going into our Sunday. But that heat really starts to pick up by our Friday and Saturday as temperatures get into the mid.